but it's an earned luxury. Sure. Because, you know, a lot of people that are coming up, they look at guys like you and yeah. guys like me and they go, well, look what they got. Yeah. I mean, they don't have to, they don't have to worry because look what they got. Look at the opportunities they got. Yeah. We worry all the time. Uh, but, but how did we get to this place? We do have advantages. Mm hmm. And the luxury of some choices. Right. But how do we get those? What Ugh, did we do to pay into yeah. those? Were we born with that? No. We fucking slogged it yeah. with no hope of get, reaching this. I know. For each of us, about yeah. 25 to 30 years yeah. of just running in place and, and building and, skill. And not knowing if anything was going to work out. Not knowing if it was going to work out and thinking, actually, the odds were very against. Yeah. And you and I both suffer from PTSD from our early <laughs> careers <laughs> that we're only now <laughs> starting to reckon with. That's an investment and that's a commitment. And it started a long time ago. Yeah. So for me, it's like every time I, I know anybody who's been doing this like like 10 years and yeah. they go, well, it's just not fair. I don't get opportunities. You just haven't hung in there long enough. It oh, takes, I know. Why wouldn't it take years and years and years right. and years 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 to be great? To be a fucking, to get to make TV for a living. What yeah. an insane right. payoff. It should but take that long. It should take that long. There'd be less long. garbage. That's right. That's right. A lot of people get it pretty quick. But yeah. you can tell they got it quick. You can, and then you can see them go away, and then some of them come back. I always love those guys. The guys who get the big breaks, you know, mm -hmm. like like uh, Kevin Hart and Bill Burr, you know, who got mm -hmm. sent up the flagpole, didn't work out, right. they went back to the grind, come out bigger than ever. That's a real story. If you can get through that, if you can yeah. hit yeah. and die yeah, and man. then come back, you yeah. are something. Yeah. That's what Chris Rock did. Chris Rock did yeah. uh, uh, SNL. Yeah. That's the biggest break you could ask for at the time. Yeah. Fucking stunk. Yeah. On SNL. Yeah. During a time where SNL stunk. Yeah. And then he disappeared. And I was like, that's what yeah. happened to Chris Rock. Yeah. And then there was, I think you might have been with me when he came to Caroline's to headline for yeah. an hour. So we went, oh, let's go watch Chris Rock do an hour. Yeah. And, uh, and, and like, I mean, well, we're shit. like, we're sitting around New York, like, uh, why doesn't somebody give me something? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm yeah. funny. Yeah. I got 20 funny. I want minutes. to do Letterman. Yeah. yeah. And then, uh, we, we sat in the back and watched him do an hour. And at the end of the hour, everybody's on their feet. Yeah. And we're, all the comedians are bent over with their heads in their hands going, what the fuck am I doing with my goddamn life? Right. God damn it. Is that guy good? So he, you know, he, yeah. you know, but yes, the, 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 the hitting and then dying and, well, I'm fortunate in that I'm, I'm still waiting to hit, which is a great feeling. You have hit. You've, I'm kidding. I'm you, kidding. I'm you've kidding. offered so something. Slow build. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, buddy. I love you. Go do your love shows. You too, man. Thank you. Yep. He's a character, but he's also a very, a very prolific and brilliant artist, that guy. And, uh,